Among the major space agencies tracking SpaceX's every move, none are as significant as NASA. As the largest aerospace organization in the United States, NASA's connection with SpaceX has been steadily growing over the years. With the launch of Starship's Flight 5 and its historic mid-air booster catch, NASA once again applauded SpaceX's achievements. But their recognition goes beyond a simple pat on the back. It reflects an evolving dynamic where NASA increasingly depends on SpaceX for the future of space exploration. But what does this mean for the future of NASA? Soon after the successful test of SpaceX's fifth Starship in which the super heavyweight booster was caught mid-air without any problems, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson made comments thanking the SpaceX team. He did not do this only to appreciate SpaceX's efforts, but instead wanted to motivate the wider space community with such actions. Elon Musk took the opportunity to respond positively and stated that SpaceX is still looking forward to cooperating with NASA for more advanced missions in human spaceflight. Little by little, the increased dependence of NASA on SpaceX has been increasing with time. This is particularly illustrated by the Artemis program, which is NASA's ambitious plan aimed at bringing the human population back to the moon, and this time with a more sustainable presence there. SpaceX's Starship has been awarded the contract to be the sole lunar lander for the Artemis mission, which is a matter of national interest for the United States government. The increasing reliance of NASA on SpaceX also becomes clear when you begin looking at the big picture. Similarly, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, released the launch license for the fifth Starship Flight 5 earlier than it should have, and some sources allege that its influence stems from NASA. The truth is that SpaceX is unrivaled when it comes to being the most efficient and dependable private aerospace firm, and as a result, it has become an important ally for NASA's goals. NASA has in the past set out objectives that aim to have more than one solution for its space missions. However, this plan has experienced setbacks. For instance, Boeing's Starliner program was meant to be an alternative for crewed flights to the International Space Station ISS. However, it has created internal disputes due to a series of setbacks and management and organization problems within Boeing. Consequently, NASA has been compelled to almost exclusively depend on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for the ISS missions. Likewise, setbacks have also been experienced in space. The NASA SLS or Moon rocket has wasted a lot of time and resources due to delays, while the Orion capsule meant to carry astronauts to the Earth orbit has run into technical difficulties including heat shield concerns. Such problems have made SpaceX's Starship, which is an all-purpose and technologically superior system, even more vital. Officially speaking, SpaceX's Starship is a lunar lander for Artemis missions. It is, however, clear that this is not the only purpose of Starship, as it has much more to offer. Apparently, in the coming years, it should be one of the prime spacecraft in moving astronauts to and from the Moon. These two roles show the lander was not only important in its own right, but also a foundation block of NASA's vision for space exploration. For NASA, Starship is more than just a spacecraft. The South Pole of the Moon, which the Artemis missions are trying to get to, also has its own difficulties, such as the complex topography and shallow sun angle. Accurate landings are crucial, and recently SpaceX showcased the type of accuracy that will be required for these missions by catching a booster mid-flight. There are currently at least 13 flat areas that have been spotted on the translunar orbit which are near the potential water ice locations on the moon's surface, but getting to those areas will still require the use of Starship. SpaceX pulled off something incredible with their mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster during Starship Flight 5. This wasn't just a cool trick, it's a huge step forward for reusable rockets. Instead of letting the booster splash into the ocean or land far away, SpaceX used a catch tower to grab it mid-air, right where it launched. This saves time, money, and resources, making the whole process faster and more efficient. But why does this matter so much? For one, it's critical for future Moon and Mars missions. To send astronauts or heavy cargo to specific spots on these planets, landings need to be super accurate. Mid-air catches help with that by allowing rockets to be reused quickly without needing major repairs. It's also part of SpaceX's bigger plan to make space travel as routine as catching a flight on Earth. This achievement has grabbed everyone's attention, from space fans to NASA itself. It's proof that SpaceX is pushing boundaries, 
turning what once seemed impossible into reality. This is a significant achievement, and Elon Musk says that it is a big step toward making life multiplanetary, which is indeed what SpaceX has always envisioned. Chris Hadfield, a former Canadian astronaut, congratulated SpaceX on accomplishing this milestone and labeled the achievement an enormous step forward in the ability of mankind. Such endorsements signal the importance of SpaceX's new accomplishments to the outside world. If you like the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Birgioni is one of the notable lunar missions by SpaceX, and orbital refueling is one of the most cutting-edge, innovative measures SpaceX has taken. In order to land on the surface of the Moon, which is approximately 240,000 miles away, the Starship will have to be refueled at an Earth orbit. This will require a whole number of tanker ships and a whole operation of transferring fuel, which has never been attempted in this fashion before. Although the solution has its own difficulties, it is still considered to improve space exploratory initiatives if it is achieved. The ability to conduct orbital refueling would provide new options for creating and developing major missions targeting the Moon, Mars, and deep space. If you like the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Even with its achievements, SpaceX has some way to go before considering Starship for any lunar mission. Artemis 3's goal of sending astronauts back to the moon includes Starship's lunar lander. However, the schedule may be pushed backward by delays of key assets, such as the cold soak fuel transfer tests. This was clearly understood during the last official meeting, where some of them expressed excitement about SpaceX activities in relation to Starship development. However, they pointed out that there are significant chances of delays and encouraged allowing SpaceX enough time to perfect these systems. Alongside Starship, SpaceX has also had the Falcon Heavy rocket becoming one of the most dependable works for NASA, which has played critical roles in missions. This year, it provided support in the launching of the Europa Clipper mission worth $5.2 billion, which is geared towards exploring Jupiter's moon Europa. All three rocket boosters were used in this most demanding mission, highlighting Falcon Heavy's strengths. SpaceX's effort to always fix its problems swiftly encourages NASA's faith in them continuously. As it happened recently on the Crew-9 mission, there was an anomaly that SpaceX and NASA worked together to fix. Such collaboration further proves the extent of partnership existing between the two bodies. 2023 can be said to be a winning year for SpaceX. Remarkable is an understatement. The number of launches surpassed the 100 mark, with three of those being near-orbital launches of Starship. Such events perfectly illustrate SpaceX's superiority in the aerospace industry and its influence in advanced space exploration. They are now leading in the quest for the exploration of the Moon, Mars, and beyond because of the successful Starship Flight 5 mid-air catch, coupled with constant technological advancement. Thanks to NASA's support, SpaceX is well on its course to alter how humans view and operate in space. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.